Hello everyone, it's Bob from the Cordless Workshop. Today I'd like to show you a new product we're bringing out and that is called the Wedge Dog Vice. This vice, you've, seen, uh, you've probably seen wedge style vices before but you probably have not seen one that has dogs on the bottom of it that lets you drop it right into your MFT, the stand bench, any other worktop that has 20 millimeter dog holes on a 96 by 96 millimeter grid pattern. The wedge dog vise sets up just like that. You don't need any other hardware. You can just use it just like this. But you can also add knobs from the underside into the dogs because the dogs are threaded. So you can put a knob in from underneath. You don't need to get the knobs in there, crank down on them tight, it just needs to be snugged. That's all it takes. One knob, I could pick this table up if I wanted to, just off that one knob. So that's all you need, one knob on. You could put a knob on the other side too, but it's really not needed on this one. So then the two wedges go together, and they create a parallel surface that closes up as you move the, wedge, the second wedge forward, and that'll let you cover anything from from zero, here's a piece of quarter inch MDF. You can go out to uh, this is about inch and three quarter thick, or an inch and a half. Or here's a two by four. We'll stand that up on end. So you can see you could go out to about two inches. Would be about as wide as you'd want to go, right? In this configuration, when you need to clamp something wider. You just pick up this one side and you'll see the dogs are offset on here. That offset gives you about an increase of 50 millimeters in your range every time you, you move it. So if you start out like this, you move it over here, you flip it around 180 and you put it, you've gained 50 millimeters in your width here. And if you need another 50 millimeters, keep it in the same two holes and just rotate it around and you've gained another 50 millimeters. You want to go to the next set of holes and get another 50 millimeters. Rotate it again. You've got another 50 millimeters of range. And you can keep going on and on until the width of your table. So let's move it over here to the next set of holes. And we'll show you that we, now we can take the 2x4 in there, lay it on its side. right? So you can sand it, drill, plane, do whatever you want to to the face of it. You can work the end of it with a domino or whatever other tool you have. You can also, without moving anything, you can go down to about inch and a half. Right? Inch and three quarters. Inch and a half. You could go up from there up to almost four inches, about three and three quarters would be about as wide as you'd want to go right here. And if you had something wider, you're just going to turn this around, keep it in the same set of holes. You can see now you can go wider. So here, now you're at three and a half inches. Right? And if you wedge that in there and it's tight, you can't get it out, just give it a tap. That's all it takes and you can get it out. So now from we can go from three and a half out to five and a half. This is a piece of a one by six cedar. You can see we can we can work on that right here. You can uh, you can plane this. There's no interference from the from the wedge vice. You can also work on something like this, standing it up on end. And then you can plane that, drill in the edge, do whatever you want to do. Right? You can also bring this out here, and you can work on a long piece. I can work on that piece just like that. And if I want to hold that in and work on it in this direction, 
from the Festool clamping element or some similar type clamping. And now this thing is locked in in every direction. It's not going anywhere. It will not come out. With just one clamping tool and the wedge vise. So that's the new wedge vise. Uh, stop on over to our website, cordlessworkshop.net, uh, where you can find more information and you can order. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. That's all for now. Bye.